beer, it kind of starts off fizzy. But the question is, can we make it fizzier by putting it through the soda stream? Well, there's only one way to find out. So let's open this can of freshly chilled Madri beer. Is that the correct pronunciation? Madri, Madri, I'm not really sure. And we shall pour this can of beer into the soda stream. This is where, to be honest, it would have been better getting a 500 milliliter can of beer because then it would have been to the correct level. But 440 milliliter is close enough. It's already looking very fizzy. I think this is going to take a while to clear after it's been carbonated. Yeah, see that that foam there is a sign of bad things. Oh, that is that is a sign of very bad things. This has got off to an absolutely terrible start. I may have to pause while this calms down. Calm down, beer. Uh, and uh, right, yeah, give me a moment. I'll be back in a in a jiffy once this has calmed down a bit. Oh, this is not a good sign. Let's get the soda stream up and do it anyway, even though I am filled with grave concerns about the foaminess that is about to ensue. Oh, it's going to make a mess, isn't it? Uh, carbonating. Uh-huh. Let's go for... Let's go for about... Uh, well, let's go for the triple fart as usual, but I think I'm going to have to pause... Uh, to let this decarbonate enough to actually release it. Out of that, it's going to make a huge mess. I may have to rush through to the kitchen and purge it there. It is, however, taking lots of carbon dioxide. Not sure this is a good thing. Uh, this is also why Soda Stream don't normally recommend putting anything other than water in their Soda Streams. There could be a beer explosion imminent. Oh, no! No, too much! Oh! Do you have the courage for another one? Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, that's that. That's that safety valve. Uh, venting lots of gas. Uh oh. Right. Tell you what. Uh, I'll be back in one moment. Yeah, I think that this might be a bad idea. That one of the first car. Well, it's not. It, the Bailey's Irish Cream was the first one to go badly wrong, and the Advocat wasn't so great either. Uh, this. I just. Gave up. Uh, there's quite a lot of beer went through that pressure release valve. I'm going to have to rinse it now. So uh, here is a foam. This is like the worst barman ever. And it is instantly turning to foam as soon as it hits the glass. So you've got a glass of foam. Mm. It's very fizzy. I'm not sure this is a productive thing to do. Uh, how, how does the foam taste? Mm. 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 Slightly beerish, well, mostly foamish, with a slight hint of beer. No, that's not working. And you can actually apparently breathe the foam in. I get it all. <laughs> right, okay. Well, uh, at this point in time, I'd say it, it. I don't know if it's really taking a lot of carbonation. Hard to say because I'm not getting to drink much of it. But um, well, tell you what, I'm going to let this settle down. Oh no, there's a wee bit forming at the bottom here. A wee bit is formed. It's also formed all over my bench here. Mm -hmm. Not much more carbonated than it was before. So the answer is, can you carbonate beer? Well, certainly the Madri beer. Or Madri or Madri. Uh, the answer is no. No, you can't. It's not recommended. Stick to sensible things like wine and vodka.